What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Dumped again, another setback for that Satanist group trying to lead the opening prayer at city council meetings. The United States Supreme Court has ruled inexplicably and to the astonishment of constitutional scholars everywhere that opening a city council meeting with occult inculcation and evocation is constitutionally protected under the United States Constitution First Amendment. The city of Scottsdale, Arizona disagrees. City of Scottsdale, Arizona also disagrees with their own state's constitution. They have denied the Satanic Temple the right to open a city council meeting with a prayer only because they are Satanists. This is where we stand at the moment. First, Phoenix dropped them from their schedule. Now, Scottsdale's doing the same. A new at 10, the group tells us they were completely blindsided by this latest decision, and a lawsuit is not off the table. In point of fact, the Satanic Temple has already filed a lawsuit, and Scottsdale, Arizona is going to lose. The United States Supreme Court has already said the Satanic Temple has the right to opening prayer at Scottsdale City Council meetings. Done deal. And I really hope that Scottsdale doesn't fight this lawsuit. I can't even imagine why they didn't give uh, the Satanic Temple permission to do a prayer for the opening City Council meeting because they gave everybody else that right. Therefore, they have to give the Satanists the same right according to Arizona's Constitution, specifically Religious Freedom in Article 20, Section 1, quote, Perfect toleration of religious sentiment shall be secured to every inhabitant of this state, and no inhabitant of this state shall ever be molested in person or property on account of his or her mode of religious worship or lack of same. End of quote. There's also Article 2, Section 7 regarding oaths and the non-requirement of invoking any god or any religion when giving oaths. So kudos to Arizona. There's also Article 2, Section 12 and Article 11, Section 7, which states no religious tests are required or shall be applied to participate in Arizona's government. Wham! Therefore, City of Arizona of uh, Scottsdale, contrary to not only United States uh, Supreme Court decision, but also Arizona State's Constitution. We very everybody out there hopes that Scottsdale does the right thing and does not discriminate against the Satanists. But what they seem to have done is come up with an arbitrary standard that was not present before because we had been scheduled, um, like any other group would have been scheduled. And then, as a, you know, as the months go by, they decided to come up with something to discriminate against us. Scottsdale officials tell ABC 15, quote, the city is not going to deviate from its long-standing practice of having the invocation given only by representatives from institutions that have a substantial connection to the Scottsdale community. Yeah, uh, that's against the law. It is also against the United States Supreme Court's decision. It is also against the state of Arizona's constitution. No, religious test. What the city council is saying, we have a religious test first. Before you can give the opening prayer at our city councils, you have to hurdle over this religious test. If you pass it, okay, then you can do it. If there is just one Satanist out there who wants to give the opening prayer as city council, that Satanist has the right, legally, morally, ethically, I don't care if it's one Satanist or a hundred million of them, they have the right to do that when all the other religions out there, specifically Christians and Jews, I assume, have that right also. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.